G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We're watching Friends Season 4, Episodes 13 and 14. The last episode ended with them actually trading apartments, which caught me off guard. I didn't think they were going to change things that much. So I wonder whether this is going to be a permanent change or whether it's just going to be like maybe the rest of the season or only a couple of episodes. It is kind of refreshing. I'm really excited to just see how that changes the dynamic of what's going on, what new jokes come out of this situation. <laughs> it was just so fun seeing both Joey and Chandler being so excited about this new apartment they got. But yeah, just a heads up, if you didn't already know, I have these all up on Patreon and you don't need your own copy to watch along with me. Without further ado, let's jump into it. She is the star of the play and she is my girlfriend. Uh. I get to have sex with the star of the play. <laughs> People can hear you. I know. <laughs> yeah, the girl next to Ross. That's right. They met when being in a play with Joey, right? Wow, she looks great, doesn't she? Mm. Hi. Hi. That is one good looking man. Yeah. Actually see his abs through his overcoat. <laughs> You've been doing this long? No, you're my first. Put the money on the table. They watching porn? <laughs> oh. Ooh, that's nice. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Dude, this is a play! Is that an expensive blouse? If you want it to be. Oh. <laughs> Chandler! Here's your girlfriend's button. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> what? What kind of play is that? Oh, boys. Is this going to be Chandler feeling like insecure about what she does on stage now? It better not be. Do you still have like your old blouses and dresses from high school? I think I have some around here somewhere. Why? Well, it's just maternity clothes are so expensive. Oh, <gasps> wow. <laughs> I made a pile of your stuff on this side of the room. You could just. <laughs> okay, calm down. Bloomingdale's eliminated my department. Oh my god, are you oh. out of a job? Stuck me in personal shopping. Huge step down. Where you walk around with snooty rich people and tell them what to buy? Huh? That oh. sounds great. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me. We switched apartments. That gravy train has ended. Is gravy? No, he just got a drumstick. That fridge has got to be stocked, okay? That's your apartment now. What are you doing? You good? I think I left a donut up here. <laughs> Bro, that's a good point though. They never go to the boys' apartment when, you know. How was Kathy's play? Kathy gets half naked, simulates sex with a real good looking guy. Like somebody literally wrote down my worst nightmare and then charged me $32 to see it. <laughs> it's a good idea for a business. He's gonna try to undermine me. You know, he'll be like, so where's your boyfriend? What's his name, Chester? He'll go, no, 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 it's Chandler. And he'll go, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. What am I gonna do? They're there to do a job. When they were doing it on stage, was it like really hot? Oh yeah. Wow. Then you're fine. When two actors are actually doing it off stage, then all the sexual tension between them is gone. So as long as it's hot on stage, you got nothing to worry about. Oh, okay. You guys have been to every play I've ever been in. Have I ever had chemistry on stage? No. No! no. <laughs> That's hilarious because if you're doing a really good job as an actor, it should come across legit. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I am going to see how hot the sex is. Exactly. No, no, no. Oh, I'm there. What? That's all the plate is. Want some pancakes? You made pancakes? Yep. Grab a plate. No, no, stay right there. <laughs> close. Yeah, yeah, close. Listen, also, we're, uh, we're watching the game here Saturday night if people want to come over. I was thinking about having people over for the game. Who's playing? Oh. The players? <laughs> Oh, does she like being a host? Please, it's a relief is what it is, is what it is. No, no. All right, beep, stick out your plate. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. That was great. I just helped an 81 year old woman put on a thong and she didn't even buy it. So I am gonna say, I am gonna say, I am gonna say, I am gonna say, I am Call me when you get this message. Oh, poor Rach, man. I uh, really need to talk to you. In a moment, please, I'm in the middle of a task. <laughs> That accent. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm boy. Joshua. What can I do for you, Joshua? My wife. Well, my ex-wife. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got away with two things. This suit turned out to be a uh, skirt. That's a great suit. Yeah, but it wasn't much fun dropping it off of the dry cleaners in the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're willing, I'm, uh, I'm all yours. Okay. <laughs> you needed to speak to me. No, no, that wasn't me. Yeah. We should get started. Let me show you my underwear. The selection of underwear that we carry. Gosh, man. 
What is her type, man? It's like any any attractive guy with a suit on. And she's like, whoa. No chemistry between them. Joey told us what this means. All right, let's not jump to any conclusion. Come on, it was like cousins having sex up there. Whoa. Here she comes. Don't say a word. Don't be, you know, you. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for coming again. Did you like it tonight? Oh, mm. absolutely. Why would Chanda like it, though? It's a good play, isn't it? Mmm. I know it isn't real, but how can you enjoy that? Clearly, you're having sex with them. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did I tell you, Chandler? I'm having sex with him? Oh, come on. It was so obvious. There was no chemistry between you two. <laughs> you're accusing me of cheating on you, and you're insulting my performance. Uh... Naked, touching, kissing. Oh, Chandler, this is my job. Well, you can understand, given how we started. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's a hypocritical thing to say. I'll tell you what, Chandler. Why don't you call me when you grow up? Well, don't expect that to happen anytime soon. <laughs> oh, got him. <laughs> oh, man. I have the best job in the entire world, and I got to dress him up all day. <laughs> She's like, I have the best job now. Rachel has a new doll. I wish she was a doll. Then I could get a Rachel doll and make kissing noises. <laughs> Joshua. Oh, ooh -ah. Joshua. <laughs> ooh -ah. Uh, hello. Hi. <laughs> ooh, what do I smell? I don't know. It smells good. <laughs> oh. Fresh cookies. Hot from the oven. <laughs> and they're all going in. Fiddling around in here, making delicious treats for everyone. A new Playboy. Yeah, just something I picked up. Yeah. Uh. Porn, you're the best mom ever. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Rather, Joshua said about v necks Pretend to be there. Hilarious. Joshua. Oh, whatever. <laughs> 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 that little. <laughs> hey, Teton, run. No, wait, please don't go. I've got porn for you, too. Yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, I'm good. Honey, what is the big deal? I'm the hostess. I mean, even when I was little, I mean, the girls brought their dollies to my tea party. I serve the best air. Hmm. Because <laughs> they took our apartment. I wanted to punish them. I'm done now. They, they, they've suffered enough. Wow. When I'm finished with this place, it's going to be 10 times better than that place. Are we going to trash their place? I love that Phoebe's just with everything. Slut. Whoa. <laughs> You'll all be very happy to hear that Kathy is sleeping with that guy. What? Oh, so you were right? I confronted her and she didn't deny it. Oh. I don't live here. <laughs> she didn't deny it because she thought you were old enough to know for yourself. So then I went over to Beefsteak Chulies. Beefsteak Charlie's? Yes. You and I have always been like... <laughs> this is his problem. He sabotages every relationship he's in. Every time. No, I got it. I just feel bad. I never vacuum. <laughs> I was with Joshua for an hour today. He has not asked me out. Why don't you ask him out? Totally. That's such a turn on. Doesn't seem desperate. Ooh, that's the turn on. Oh, wow. I've never asked a guy out before. You've never asked a guy out? She doesn't need to. You? Thousands of times. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I do is uh, look a woman up and down and I say, hey, how you doing? Whoa! <laughs> how did he do that? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the little giggle. I'm gonna call him up and I'm gonna ask him out. His voice is so deep, though. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't use a different accent. It's Rachel Green from Bloomingdale's. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering if you um, if you um. Left your wallet at the store today? Dang it. Oh, well, we found a wallet. The license. Well, that is a good idea. Belongs to a Mr. Uh, Phoebes. So sorry to bother you at home. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Ugh. You've done that a thousand times. I've never done that. Yeah, exactly. You gotta give him something he can't say no to, like uh, Knicks tickets. Invite the guy to a Knicks game. Really, you think that'll work? Absolutely, and if it doesn't, can I get the extra ticket? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good hustle. What the heck is that? That is Monica. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Did she call? To bro. No, sorry. All right. Maybe I should call her. Yeah. Forget her, man. You don't need her. You don't need that. What she did was unforgivable. What? 
you know, what if, what if I was wrong? Yeah. Well, you know, what if she didn't actually sleep with the guy? Tell me she actually told you that. I saw the play. Back me up here, Ross. That's all you're basing this on? That's not backing me up. <laughs> the offstage and the heat and the onstage and the... It was just a theory. A lot of theories that didn't pan out. Lone gunman. <laughs> Geometry. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, exactly. Taking advice from Joey again. <sighs> He's got to trust himself more. Because I happen to have tickets to the... Um, who likes the Nick? <laughs> that was so awkward. As a single woman. <laughs> it's available. <laughs> great. Huh. Oh yeah, you look great. Oh gosh. And she's like, do I look good with him? <laughs> Does he look good with me? I, I think I'm gonna wear it home. Great. Well, I guess, uh, is it. <laughs> Just ask him. Anyway, hopefully I'll, I'll see you around sometime. Basketball! I have t two tickets to the Knicks game tonight if you're interested. Do you want to go with me? Great. Really? Yeah. You just offered him two tickets. My nephew is crazy about the Knicks. <laughs> this is what I'm saying! Thank you so much, Rachel. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> oh man. Hey. I'm sorry. I just wanted to come over to to say that I'm sorry. Thank you. And I can completely understand why you were so upset. I really wish you'd called me. Oh no. Oh no. No. You know? Because we've had our first fight and now we can move on. He was right? You know, I mean I know for me but... Nick's pants? Yeah. I think our second fight is going to be a big one. You're kidding me, girl. Okay, for next time, what do you say? I have an extra ticket. <laughs> <laughs> he, he turned you down? He didn't turn me down. I got the date, I'm just not on it. <laughs> okay, it's ready. Come on. Oh my gosh, she looks like she's been through hell. Just come. <laughs> just come. <laughs> This poor girl, man. Beautiful. Did you work for two days straight? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. What, what do you think of the floor? I don't know, it looks the same. Joey. I made snacks. Oh, <laughs> Please yeah. just. The place does look nice. Mom, do you want us to uh, come back later? Oh, no, 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 stay. Always the hostess. Oh. How'd it go? So? Well, she wasn't sleeping with him. Oh, good. She is now. <sighs> I'm saying that she is a devil woman. <laughs> you think you know a person, then they turn around, they sleep with Nick. Rock hard pecs and his giant man nipples. Damn. It's so sad. And I hate her. Well, I don't hate her. I love her. This is all my fault. I should have called. You know, if I just called her after a big... No. That's not what someone who's committed to you does. Well, just because you guys had a fight does not justify her sleeping with someone. Yes. Oh. <gasps> Well, if she thought they were on a break. Oh my! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was great. Joshua Bergen. Really? Wow. Yes, I just wanted to see you again. Oh, I'm glad. Rachel, I'd like to say something to you. Is someone watching, please? How you doing? Eh. Nice. <laughs> Gosh, man, what a crazy episode, but man, I feel so sorry for Chandler. Like I said, it's one thing to, you know, be okay with someone, you know, having a makeout scene with someone else, right? But to like, for them to perform almost a sex scene and that's half the play and just watch it over and over. The whole point, right, wasn't necessarily whether that was okay or not. It was whether Chandler being upset with her warranted her cheating, which is obviously not okay. I hate that though, because it's just one of those unfortunate situations, right? Where it's like the girl he thought was the girl of his dreams, you know, cheats on him after they have a fight. Stuff like that can happen, you know, and it's obviously devastating, but you just know that a person like Chandler is going to have so much trouble with that, right? Because he already has trust issues. He already sabotages a lot of relationships he gets himself into. And we know that he desires to, you know, find the one for him. And it's so sad to see that happen to him, particularly the fact that he thought he was right. Uh, and then, you know, was in denial in the end and had the courage to be like, okay, I'm sorry. I was acting like an idiot. And then for him to be right, you know, for her to be cheating on him. It's just something like that can really mess you up you know, in future relationships. And I hope it, I hope it doesn't. I'm so, I'm so worried for his well-being. 
I want to give him a hug, man. It's just like, it's going to be okay, dude. It's going to be okay. This is what I'm saying. Never listen to Joey or Ross. Oh, gosh. I'm telling you. Whenever you aren't sure about something, you feel like the other person has certain feelings for someone else. The best thing to do is to communicate with them and ask them how they flip and feel. Don't ask all your other friends what they think about the situation before you've even talked to your partner. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Gosh, man. All right, on to episode 14. What is this now? Googly worm. <laughs> the googly worm? Glow pop jiggly jam. <laughs> <laughs> Those are great names. What's this? Uh, oh, hunk of sandwich from last year. Ugh. Oh, looks like a big one. Oh, it's the classic struggle between men. <laughs> Someone knocked over a lamp. <laughs> when my dad gets me out in the middle of the lake and gives me that, Joey, what are you doing with your life? I'm doing a movie with Charlton Heston, Dad. What are you doing with your life? Ooh, nice. <laughs> you don't have to stop having fun just because I'm here. Kathy didn't cheat on all of you. Ooh. Poor well, guy. except you. <laughs> They're like, we've both been there now. Our friendship just went even deeper. I don't think that you should leave Chandler alone. Maybe you can go fishing next week. He's still in his sweatpants. That's only phase one. <laughs> I'll be back for phase two. I would never miss phase two. Phase two? What's phase two? I'm drunk and going to a strip club. <sighs> Joey. Going to a strip club make him better. There are naked ladies there. <laughs> and it helps him get to phase three, picturing yourself with other women. There are naked ladies there too. Yeah. <laughs> It's so wrong, but there is logic in it. I'm actually surprised to see Chandler walking around being so like himself, you know? I was expecting it to be a lot worse. So these will match the jacket you picked out for me last week. Mm -hmm. This guy. There we go. Bruh. Brown leather dress gloves. Well, let's see. You're about a, well, this one is large. <laughs> <laughs> It's so lucky that guys find this flattering. My niece, you see, is in town from London. Well, Shropshire, really, but you know. She's about your age, I'd say. Anyway, <laughs> wondering if you would like to keep a company this evening. Good. Count me in. Me, Flitter Mouse. Great. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> so, the gloves. So? The gloves. <laughs> right? <laughs> gloves? Oh, right. Actually, you know what? I kind of, I got to take off. Do you have any plans for tonight? Yeah, that would be great. You're into hardcore SM, right? Uh, I can be. Well, I, I get, I get. I'm kidding. I, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna put you on the VIP list. Okay. okay, look for me. I'll see you tonight. Okay. Okay. I gotta say, Rachel's pretty cute right now. <laughs> for you and Emily, tonight, deflate the mouse. Oh, that's right. I think you'll like it. It has two out of the three tenors. Okay. Oh no. From now on, I'm not getting out of this chair. Okay. From now on, this chair is the one. <laughs> it won't betray him. Take the sweats off, okay? Take them off and we'll have some fun. Yeah. Doesn't sound good. You guys have no idea. Oh, oh, look at him. Oh, are you kidding? He's so rugged. Three days on the lake without a shower. Plus, he fell into that big tub of worms at the bait stand. Ugh. He hasn't gotten out of that chair in two days. <clears throat> hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> That was easy. Good job, Joey. You did it. See that? He just needed his pal to come home. All right. Yeah. Me and Charlton Heston bright and early tomorrow, baby. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. What's the matter? Joshua invited me to this fancy club opening tonight. I already told Mr. Waltham that I would take his niece, dumb old opera. What are you going to do? I don't know, sweetie. No, help me. <laughs> I would, but I get my morning sickness in the evening. What? No, unless she wants to spend the night holding my hair back for me. <laughs> Are Joey and Chandler back? Chandler's still in phase one. Joey's that thing you smell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leverage, yes. Hi. Hi. How you doing? So. <laughs> so. You want me to take some girl I've never met, opera? Yeah, that, that is a toughie. She's going to be really attractive though, right? Because she's Rachel's age, right? She looked right at me. Wait, you can't see people through that little hole, can you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> they can hear you. I thought we'd gotten to a place where we could be happy for each other. No, is that just me? Come on, Ross. All right, I'll do it. This could be good. I'm Rachel Green. <sighs> Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out I'm not free tonight. So really, so I must have missed your call, even though I didn't leave the flat all day. Whoa. It's perfectly in keeping with the trip where I've already been down by one of your wiener carts. Whoa. 
Apparently, to you people, I look like someone who's got a balloon full of cocaine stuffed up their bum. <laughs> I, I think you look great. Thanks. Good night. It was very nice to meet you all. I'll get him. Please, hurry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't I just love the way they talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she described it perfectly without saying anything. It kicked. I think the baby kicked. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. Oh, that was the last of my underwear busted. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I overslept! Take it out of here! Oh, I swear, if he misses this opportunity. They're just 10 blocks away. If I run, I can make it. That'll help the smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, keep moving. Uh, whoa. <laughs> I did punch a girl in the face. It was, um, it was pouring down rain. There was no Rachel Green on the list, but there was a Rachel Greep. So, did you get to meet her? Phoebe. This other girl overheard us and she was all, I'm Rachel Green. But then this big bitch behind me tried to steal my umbrella. So I clocked her. <laughs> I clocked her. All I wanted was just a few hours to see Joshua. Go ahead and start falling in love with me. That's all I wanted. Not a big deal. Phoebes. Honey, that's your name. That's short for Phoebe? I thought that's just what we called each other. Wait, what? Hey, you're wearing pants. Where are the guys? I'm ready to get drunk and see some strippers. <laughs> He's with Emily at a bed and breakfast in Vermont. What? Oh my god! Uh. Who the hell is Emily? <gasps> no! <laughs> no! I knew it. How did this happen? Ow. <laughs> How did he end up in Vermont with that awful witch? Maybe she doesn't hit him all the time. Yeah, that's a good start. Who wouldn't be miserable? Once I got her into a dry pair of shoes, totally different person. There's a deer just outside eating fruit from the orchard. There's a deer just outside eating fruit from the orchard. <laughs> she did seem a little fun. I don't get this. She was horrible. Okay, I'm gonna go stand over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do you care so much anyway? I don't care. Mm -hmm. You do not just meet someone and go flitting off to Vermont. When you first met Barry, you flitted off to Vail. Yep. You just for once not remember every little thing. <laughs> She's just calling you out. You know what? I knew something like this was gonna happen. What are you doing? Oh. Why don't you do your phase two strip club thing with us? Come on, we can be guys. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> Let us be guys. Maybe we want to be guys. Be all hairy and you wouldn't live as long. <laughs> Stop being such a wuss and get those off and you come with us and watch naked girls dance. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cute. I'm sorry. I'm here. I'm here. Calm down. We got time. Oh no. Whoa. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> Smart. I, I could see why you would think that, but uh, testing. What? I can't believe he's actually there. He's the only one around here with a shower in his dressing room. Shower, huh? <sighs> That's great, they actually got him in the show. Um, you have to put that out, because I'm pregnant. Maybe you and your baby ought to go to another strip club. Uh, it's not my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. Oh, really? Really? How are they into this? Ross is all happy in Vermont. Another round of daiquiris. And don't let me leave without getting the name of that carpet guy. I love how much of a good time they're having. In a couple hours, I'm going to get really drunk, and I'm going to want to call Kathy, and you guys are going to have to stop me. I'm going to be so drunk, I'm going to want to call Janet. Shut, how is she? Oh! <laughs> They're the worst. They're the worst. Somebody needs another lap dance. Ah, they're so supportive. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. We're going to get a scene with him. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Put some pants on, kids, so I can kick your butt. <gasps> You don't understand. See, I'm an actor. Joey Tribbiani, I'm doing a scene with you today. I stink. Oh, boy. I stink. Joey, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't blacklist him. Every actor, one time or another, up. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even Laurence Olivier sometimes thought he stank. Oh, you don't understand. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> He's like, I smell, I smell. I just did a scene out there. First take, I stunk the place up. <laughs> The important thing that you must remember, you must never, ever bust into my dressing room and use my shower. Oh. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm Wait a sorry. minute. Take your pants. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
Damn, bro. Slap on the wrist by him. Thanks to you, the hottest cocktail waitress there is quitting to teach the third grade. <laughs> I can't believe it. He still hasn't called. Josh? It's Joshua. But he isn't like Josh? No, I don't. <laughs> Ugh. You know what? You were right. You were right. We really weren't great at being guys because we're girls. I figured that. Do you know what girls are really good at? Stripping. Uh, <laughs> no, listening. Sit. Really help if you would just talk. Yeah. You know, if you want to cry, that's okay too. <laughs> Phase three is a lost cause. Those strippers were insanely hot, and I couldn't picture myself with any of them. They really were pretty, weren't they? You know, I really like that fighter pilot one. Oh, she was so spunk. A fighter pilot one? You know, I think if I were going to be with a woman, <laughs> it'd be with someone like Michelle. Oh my gosh. Oh, Chantal. Chantal. Yeah. You know? Oh my God, this <laughs> Chandler! Now, when I stuck that dollar bill in her G-string, grazed her thigh. Phase three! <laughs> I just achieved phase three! <laughs> I am totally picturing you with all those women! That's not phase three! Well, I'm there too! Oh! Are we all together, like in a group? Stop it! You're killing me! I think I just moved on to phase four! Oh my gosh! I don't want to have a relationship ever. I just want to have sex with strippers and my friends. <laughs> That's insane. I wanted to go to the strip club. <laughs> hey, oh, the hell is Vermont? Emily is... There are no words to describe her. A dream. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you were so right. Finally being in a place where we could really be happy for your child. Oh. Uh. I wasn't quite there. Thought of you and that, that Josh guy. Joshua. <laughs> Thought of it kind of, you know? Yeah. But now, I'm totally there. Oh, but she's not. So glad I could help. <laughs> you know, happy for you. <laughs> oh no, happy for you. Oh boy. Just when things were getting better. Ladies, here's what we're going to do. Oh. You two go get the oils. We scream at the top of your voice, Chandler's the king, Chandler's the king. All right, listen, I gotta wake up. <laughs> Gosh, man. Just when things were starting to like move on, like for a while we'd had the whole jokes with Rachel and Ross, you know, making jokes out of spite, right, towards each other. And then Ross moves on again. The same way he moved on with the last girl he was with on at the beach trip, right? Here we go again. He's going to have some sort of relationship with this girl for a while and then something's going to happen and then Rachel and Ross and no, no, no. It's just, it's just going to keep going. <laughs> Oh, I'm interested to see how it plays out though, but it is kind of a similar storyline, I imagine. Regardless of the methods, I love how supportive Phoebe, Monica, and Rachel were with uh, Chandler. I feel like just the fact that they were so invested in his well-being and trying to help him get over this girl is just so precious. And it's moments like that re that remind me what it is about their friendship group that keeps them together. It isn't just uh, the chemistry or, you know, the way they make each other laugh. It's it's those moments. It's the part where they deeply care about each other. And that's what I love about this show. That was a really fun couple episodes. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself. I did. Please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.